Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dia and welcome back to a brand new video. Today is gonna be something a little bit different. This is something uh, I've actually wanted to make for quite a while. I made one similar to this in the past. However, when I literally got done with the project, I in, I accidentally deleted all of the assets that I had, like all the videos, all the, most of the graphics and everything. I did one for camos on like the master camos in games and we're gonna make that another day. But this one is going to be on my favorite Call of Duty games. And this has everything Thing from the original Call of Duty up until the most recent Modern Warfare 3 plus some like DLCs and such in there. I'm gonna be grading these just how I see fit. Um, with all the rumors about uh, Black Ops 6 coming around, I think it's important to reflect, I guess, the previous titles to see what I liked, what I didn't like and stuff like that and kind of construct again on that wish list feeling. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. We'll just be going straight in order from left to right on both of these rows. So we're gonna start with the original Call of Duty 1, 2, and 3. I have never played any of these games because I started on like modern warfare and world of war i don't really i play have played them both around the same time call of duty modern warfare the original and i think it's only fair if i put the remastered in there as well if not a tier above i'm gonna say that call of duty modern warfare was good call of duty modern warfare was good i remember playing the game i had a lot of fun it was a very solid base it introduced the 357 system as well as we got some crazy things like m16 stopping power and we got triple nades triple stuns we have rpgs as a perk i mean the list goes on there are a lot of really good guns in this game and I just genuinely think the game flowed super well for a first like actual attempt at a big multiplayer experience with the 357 system and such. I'm also going to jump a little bit out of order. I know I said it's stay in order, but considering it's literally the remastered version of the game, I'm going to put Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered also in good. I know I probably said to put it in fantastic, but I think the new engine as well as the Explosion Zone camo was good. It was a great addition to the game. It made the game super grindy. I really loved the game. I wish I had gotten Exclusion Zone on this game. I got really close and I just stopped. However, I don't think that's good enough to put it in fantastic because no core elements of the game changed. We stayed on the 357. We still had M16 stopping power. We still had the M40, you know, bolt action. We still had the bear. We had all of the things that made the game great, plus a little couple extras. And I don't think that's enough to say it was fantastic, but I definitely think it was better. We have World at War. This game introduced zombies and I can see zombies actually right there. So we're gonna, and as well as I think there's a World at War DLC, I actually don't remember this DLC as well as all these Call of Duty DLCs. I'm gonna throw this Call of Duty in mid. I would put it in fantastic, but I don't have any super fond memories of the game. I played it a very small amount. Didn't really, I don't have the like any, like, oh my God, that's crazy memories. I know like Face Scope has hit a crazy clip. I think it's a six on on World of War. And looking back in the game, I actually do really miss it. I'm like, damn, I really wish I had played the game, but I'm putting mid because I know know it's a good title. I know it, no, I know it's a good title. I don't have any memories. I couldn't tell you a lot about what was on the game. You know what? I'm going to bump it up to good. I'm going to bump it up to good because I know it's a good game. World of War Zombies. World of War Zombies, I'm going to put it actually in fantastic. It's the first edition of zombies we ever get. The atmosphere itself is just creepy as hell. I remember being like super young and going to play zombies and being actually terrified because when you beat the campaign is when you unlock zombies and the zombie just sprints at you while you're blinking and your character is recovering from a plane or a helicopter crash and it's it just it's super creepy it's very difficult this zombies experience is extremely good i urge anybody who has even a light one in their mind to play zombies or likes zombies that play world of war zombies and we have modern warfare 2 i know this is the greatest of all time i'm gonna change this to the goats i believe that you can't have like i know it's the great the greatest of all time and there can only be one goat but for me there are certain call of duties that literally are so important to the franchise that the franchise franchise wouldn't even be nearly as popular as it is today without them and one of them is the original modern warfare 2 the original modern warfare 2 is just oh my fucking god it is i have so much playtime on this game i think it's the call of duty to this day with my best stats i remember putting so much time into this game i remember i think it's called trailer park and and like amusement park and stuff like that. i don't remember the actual names of those maps but those maps were so fucking good i have so many clips with the intervention i have so many clips with the tar 21 he's the 
I think it was the ACR in this game and the UMP it just all all of the guns were just good the perk system was great the maps were fantastic I just yes we had some maps like Afghan where it, they're so wide open not many people want to play them and a state is just some buns um, next we have Black Ops 1 and we have the Black Ops 1 zombies experience I'm gonna stick Black Ops 1 in fantastic it is, this is the Call of Duty I got into sniping with and it, it's my lowest KD Call of Duty ever at a 0.71 but it's a point but it's like my lowest KD by a landslide and I started sniping it's when I started picking up a controller like and actually grinding the game Modern Warfare 2 I had I had pretty good stats I got I someone like in a hacked lobby hit me with anything so I got all the unlocks and I went back to play Modern Warfare 2 after Black Ops 1 and the game just felt so unbelievably easy in comparison and again the sniping is definitely what fucked me over I'm not gonna lie and we also have the Black Ops 1 zombies experience I'm putting that in the goats Black Ops 1 is a fantastic game and it's definitely a big reason as to why the games are what they are but this zombies experience this right here is the whole reason the zombies community was so just blown out of proportion the zombies experience here is just fucking crazy you i'm not a zombies player but you can't take away the success that black ops zombies has it's actually ridiculous modern warfare 3 and i guess this is a modern warfare 3 map pack i'm gonna throw it in the goats i think it added on to a modern warfare 2 universe that first of all ahead of its time we were not ready for it to be this good as well as i think the game is just many good maps so many good weapons the game had a long lifespan having level 80 and prestige like 20 bunch of unlocks you can get along the way is just it's great it also had the support killstreak package so you could earn things like the juggernaut and the advanced uav and stuff like that now we have black ops 2 goat i don't think anything needs anyone needs to say anything black ops 2 is the goat call of duty it's just it just is there's no, nothing you can say to sway my mind call of duty ghosts i'm gonna put it in my guilty pleasure i really like ghosts i think i from day one i said ghost doesn't deserve any of the shit that it deserves it deserves some of it yes but not all of it not the absolutely ridiculing bombardment of shit that it deserves or that it got uh call of duty ghost is genuinely a really good game in my opinion i think the map specific killstreaks were cool i think the maps themselves were good they weren't the best i thought the gunplay was fantastic i mean i thought extinction was really good actually i have a i had a lot of fun on call of duty ghosts it was also the first hardened edition of any game i'd ever bought so call of duty ghosts my guilty pleasure i really enjoyed it um call of duty events warfare i'm gonna say it's mid actually i'm gonna say it's bad this call of duty walked so uh black ops i think it was black ops 3 with the jetpacks i genuinely forget black ops 3 or black ops 4 this walked so other jetpack pods could run and i just don't think it was good. it had the introduction of supply drop with pay to win weapons as well as some game modes that were cool but weren't gonna work in other cods and i think this is where call of duty started to walk away from the quote-unquote realism um we started to get jetpacks we started to get these other things that didn't flow the best and so i think if events warfare it's not a trash game but for me i didn't i i hit prestige like three and i stopped playing so i just i think it's a bad game i i think it's the beginning of the end for call of duty if black ops 3 does not come in and save it okay so black ops 3 is one of the goats it's the i completed the camel grind on this game so many times it is unbelievable and yes it had the black market and it did have a bit of pay to win but it what advanced warfare could have been black ops 3 was the game again smooth gameplay smooth jetpacks they had supply drops i believe in this game however they did not like the weapons were good but you could use other things and be and compete pretty fucking well but when you're playing events warfare and people have like the obsidian steed and stuff like that like you are going to lose a lot of gunfights it takes a bad player to have the obsidian steed and lose even then a bad player could have the obsidian steed and do well because it was just such a good gun and i think the zombies experience in this game like zombies in general in this game was good and then they had zombies chronicles the greatest dlc to zombies we've ever received ever ever it is the greatest dlc it has the best map it has like some of the best if not the best maps in the whole franchise infant warfare is trash i don't want to hear what anyone else to say the camos in it are cool as shit but the game fucking sucks uh world war ii i'm gonna say is mid uh i think the mastery camo at the end rome is actually awful i think it's like, probably the worst mastery camo we've received the, the the grind for this game was just not good but the game was fun they it's just it just sits in the middle of the pack is there's nothing too terribly wrong with it other than the mastery camo grind but there's nothing that it does super super well because it just feels like it feels like call of duty modern warfare took a step back i'm gonna put black ops 4 in the goats 
because once again, granted, this is going to be the last game that goes in the GOATs. Every single thing in this list is not GOAT worthy. But the reason I say it's GOATs is because it took the Black Ops 3 formula and improved it again. It's just adding on to Masterpiece. It is just adding on to these amazing, phenomenal games. I cannot stress how much I like when things are added on on, on top of the good things for the better. And Black Ops 4 is, I know people are saying, oh, the specialists and the, weapon, the weapons are kind of meh. I did the Mastery Grind so much in this fucking game. Uh, it's insane. I did the Master Guard in both of these games just so fucking much, and I lived to play this game. I was saying, fuck every other game that ever existed ever, I'm playing this game. Next, we have Modern Warfare 2019. I did not like Modern Warfare 2019. I am under the unpopular opinion, I think, that Modern Warfare 2019 is just not a good game. Uh, I think the, the new engine was cool, but I think, but the way people played the game made it just very insufferable for me. Didn't want to do the Mastery Grind, and I think the Damascus camo is a long, it's one step up from chrome because it doesn't even move and it looks like just a general oil spill versus the other mastery camos we have at least they're animated and at least they move and so my grind is worth it and with the amount of weapons that were in this game and the amount of levels you have to go through for each weapon was was ridiculous i will say obsidian is fantastic but the fact that i have to go through the damascus grind is just i just i just don't like the game it's not trash because i it has done a lot for call of duty getting resurging it back into life back into the franchise but call of duty black ops cold war i think is a fantastic game Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War is a really good game in my opinion. I really liked the health system. I really enjoyed the movement. I really thought the maps were great. I thought the kill streaks were good. I th oh, I thought the the Dark Matter and Dark Aether were just fucking phenomenal. Made the grind so worth it. Again, in my opinion, a step in the right direction. And no, I'm not biased towards Black Ops games and I'm hating Modern Warfare. I'm not trying to do that at all. I'm just saying like this is what my opinion is. Call of Duty Vanguard, I didn't play. I thought Modern Warfare 2 was a good game. I genuinely thought Modern Warfare 2 was a good game. I wouldn't say it's mid because I thought the I thought it was a step in the right direction for the Modern Warfare franchise considering we had Modern Warfare 2019. And I think that I will say that the perk system where you have to get kills to get your perks in the game, I didn't really like that. But but it's, I found less players playing more campy and people were starting to run around. And while yes, the movement felt kind of heavy, uh, I like I said, I really enjoyed the game. I thought the weapons were good. I thought the UI was all right. Actually, I'll put it in mid. I'll put it in mid because of the perk system. And I thought co-op was just a waste of time and the campaign was bleh. And I'm gonna put Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I'm gonna put this game, this year's Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 in good. I wanna put it in fantastic, but I'm not going to because the campaign is short and shit. This is, and it has a lot of the things we should already have kept. And again, I'm grinding the shit out of this game, but if I'm being just brutally honest with myself, it's a good game. It's not fantastic. It's a good game. I think the mastery grind is pretty, pretty cool. I like that. I think the camo is just clean. Borealis also just clean as hell. I think zombie sucks ass though. Um, while I do and i say that and i also say i enjoy it but the reason i say both is because i enjoy the grind but running around with my head cut off like a headless chicken and doing everything it's just i'm just not liking that i want to go back to round base i don't know what call of duty i think this is call of duty online i, mean, I haven't played it i didn't play this i haven't played warzone mobile call of duty the original warzone uh, i don't really like brs if i'm being honest i'm gonna go ahead and put it in mid because i just don't think there's anything special about it but i know how much life it bled into the modern warfare 2019 it is the reason that call of duty survived um warzone 2.0 trash i just horrible launch it didn't add anything to the warzone franchise it is literally just a continuation of warzone i don't if this if we we could literally go without this blackout i played a good amount i played a good amount of blackout because i had so much fun on black ops 4 and i'm gonna put it in good uh I, actually i'll put it in fantastic i'll put it in fantastic and that's because the amount of people i hear like god i miss blackout so much other than the, whatever i don't think it's nostalgia i don't think people are looking back on it oh my god this game is insane like because i had so much fun on it in the past i think it's like genuinely really good black ops 4 was a fantastic game and i think the bat this battle royale system it's the most fair the brs like if someone's jumping on you you had some point to retaliate but at the same time you could also just get instantly evaporated it depended on both the player being killed being good or bad and the player jumping on you being good or bad i feel like in warzone no matter what if someone jumps on you if someone starts shooting you now you're just dead one tiny wrong maneuver and you're just fucking screwed whereas blackout made these big like i guess brawl type scenarios I talked about it a little bit when i on like my stream if like you know when you guys have heard me discuss overwatch um, i like when i used to play that i like brawl i like it when you don't just fucking eviscerate one team and be done it's it's like the same thing in single player games i don't like being overpowered uh i like to brawl i like to fight for it declassified is trash uh i 
I played it on the PS Vita. That's where this is. And it just, I played literally 30 minutes and I just gave up. Um, Call of Duty Heroes, I actually had to look up because I didn't know what it was. I looked it up look, while I was looking at the tier list to make sure I could do a video on it. It's at a real time strategy call with the Call of Duty assets. I've never played it, but it looks fucking awful. And Strike Team is just, I haven't played it. That is my Call of Duty tier list. Uh, I, I can definitely see some things in here that would be controversial. Black Ops 3 and 4 in GOATS, Modern Warfare 1 and World of War in good. I would definitely, I could also see Modern Warfare 2019, me calling it bad. That's totally like up for debate. I know a lot of people think differently on that. Like I said, I know there's a ton of room for debate on this list. I'm, I'm open to pretty much moving every single piece on this board, except for Black Ops 2, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, Modern Warfare 2, and Black Ops 4. Those are the only things I would not move. Other than that, I'd move everything else. I could definitely see, you know, things going around for debate. But that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys really did enjoy this tier list. You guys want to see more tier lists or you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. Let's really really enjoy the content. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. Until next time, Lydia signing off. Have a fantastic rest of your day. I'm gonna see you in the next video.